in today's session i am going to deal with the the basic operations on the real numbers real numbers means rational and the irrational numbers this is a section exclusively for class 9th students you know what are the four basic operations addition subtraction multiplication and division so here we are going to see what are the results of these four basic operations on real numbers real numbers means rational and irrational numbers the first one the sum difference product and quotient of two rationals are always rational except division by zero rational that is if you add two rationals you will get a rational number if you subtract two rationals you will get a rational number and if you multiply two rationals you will get a rational number and if you divide two rationals except a zero rational you will get a, a rational number the second point is the sum difference product and the quotient of two irrationals may be rational or irrational that means if you add subtract multiply or divide two irrationals the answer may be rational or irrational third point the sum difference product and the quotient of a rational and irrational is always irrational except for zero rational it means if you add subtract multiply or divide a rational and irrational the result will be always irrational except for zero rational here if you multiply zero with any irrational number the answer will be zero so the result will be rational because zero is a rational number similarly if you divide the zero rational by any irrational number then also the result will be zero which is a rational these are the two exceptions and remember division by zero is not defined so look at the three points the first one on two rational numbers the second one on two irrational number third one on a rational and an irrational number the next topic is uh, representing real numbers on a number line real numbers means rational or irrational but we are going to focus here a special pattern of uh, irrational numbers for example root of 8.2 you know already how to represent root 2 root 3 root 5 etc on a number line but here it is different case how to represent a root of 8.2 on a number line this construction involves certain procedure so one by one i will explain to you and understand how to construct root of 8.2 on a number line in the same way you can construct any other such numbers on a number line the first step is to draw a ray a ray means one initial point and the other end can be extended indefinitely ax is a ray with the end point a and it can be extended indefinitely in the direction of x now we have to represent root of 8.2 on a number line now you have to cut a line segment of 8.2 units on this ray 8.2 units means uh, you can decide any unit you can decide 1 cm as 1 unit you can decide 2 cm as 1 unit but i suggest for any values more than 4 you take 1 cm as 1 unit or more than 5 if the value is less than 5 for the convenience of the construction you take a one unit is equal to 2 cm so here i use one cm is equal to one unit so to represent 8.2 units i take 8.2 cm so from a to b 
let it be 8.2 units i again remind you it is not centimeter it is simple unit 8.2 unit now from b you mark another point c which is 1 unit that means from A to B it is 8.2 units and B to C it is 1 unit. So total AC is equal to 8.2 plus 1, 9.2 units. The next step is to find the midpoint of AC. To find the midpoint of AC you have to draw the perpendicular bisector of AC. You know how to draw the perpendicular bisector of AC. For that with the A and the C as centers, draw two arcs on both the sides, a pair of arcs on both the sides. That is, using compass, with the A as center, draw an arc of any radius, but more than half of AC, and with the same radius, an arc on lower side also. Now, with the C as center, Draw an arc to intersect this arc and uh, this one. That means the two pairs of arcs will intersect. You join them with a dotted line. When you join them with a dotted line, this is the midpoint of AC. Now, with the, this point, let it be O. With the O as center, OA or OC as radius. That means keep the rounder or compass at O and the pencil point at A. Draw a semicircle. If you draw a semicircle, it will definitely pass through C. So now we have a semicircle with the O as the center and OA as the OA or OC as the radius. The next step is to simply draw a perpendicular at B. To draw a perpendicular at B, perpendicular, perpendicular means 90 degree. To draw a perpendicular at B, with the B as center, draw any two arcs of equal radii on either sides. So with the B as center, two arcs of equal radii on either side. This arc to may fold within C, on C or beyond C, doesn't matter. But you have to draw two arcs of equal radii. So from these two points, from these two points, now draw two equal arcs to intersect. And the, from the point of intersection, join to B and extend it to meet the semicircle at point D. I repeat, first draw two arcs of equal radii with the B as center from the two points where the two arcs meet. Again draw a pair of arcs to intersect from this point, this point of intersection of the two arcs join B and extend it to meet the semicircle at the point D. Now, the length or height of BD will be equal to root of 8.2. The calculation is not required and now if BD is equal to root of 8.2, the next step is to draw an arc with the B as center and BD as radius. BD as radius means uh, the rounder or compass at B and the pencil at D. So, with the B as center, BD as radius, draw an arc like this. Where it intersects this ray, this is the distance equal to root of 8.2. So, this is the position of 
root of 8.2 on a number line because here point B is considered to be 0, point C is considered to be 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So this is how you can construct a root of 8.2 on a number line. Similarly, you can construct any other such numbers or represent on a number line. Example root of 10.5. In constructing or representing root of 10.5, you take 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit. But if it is a something root of 4.1, then it will be better you take a 1 unit is equal to 2 centimeter. 1 unit is equal to 2 centimeter means uh, the length of AB should be 4.1 into 2 that is 8.2. By length it is 8.2 centimeter but we call it as 4.1 unit. Then BC will be equal to 2 centimeter but we call it as 1 unit. It is only for the convenience of the, con uh, of the construction. You can construct this with a 1 cm is equal to 1 unit also, but the figure will be very small, so it will be very difficult to draw the various arcs, semicircle, etc. So, choose proper units, the method will remain the same, and practice more and more questions so that you will become very expert in representing such uh, real numbers on a number line.